Hey guys, it's Blogger Gothic. I'm a brunette now. Deal with it. So today is Sunday, October 27th, aka We Will Rock You Day. Yay! So it's about 4.41 right now. I didn't really do much today. I filmed my December long form video and did some uploading and shit. But, 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 in less than an hour, I'll be driving off to Sugarland to have some fun with my bro. Enjoy! Hey guys, it's Bob. I'll take a couple days after the We Will Rock You thing. I'm in my car right now and I just had a class. And dear God, that was a shit show. And I'm going to add some little bits of my brother and I actually there right now while I summarize the musical for you along with my thoughts on this particular performance. So let me start off by saying the basic summary is, and as I've said before, this reads like a young adult dystopian novel and or a bad fan fiction written by a 12 year old. So the basic summary is, in a world where everyone is the same, one dares to be different. So Derek, you excited for the musical? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. You know it's gonna be shit, right? Yeah, I know. You just don't know how it's gonna end up. Yeah. Cause I know you've only seen like the first five minutes of the original thing. Yeah, I saw the first five minutes and I saw it was over two hours long. Then I realized I had better things to do, like homework and video games. Watch out, I was gonna watch it, but then Modern Warfare came out, so I just played that. But here is a more detailed summary. So, it's like 300 years in the future, or some shit. This evil company called Globosoft, yes, Globosoft, has taken over the world and banned self-expression. So most of the young people of the world are these smiling people in the same clothes. If you ever watched this short-lived show called The Oblong, it's kind of like the Debbies, but legally inclined. And I don't like the costume design for this particular performance because they all looked like space-age wannabes from... God damn, I hate to say it, but... Buck Rogers of the 25th century. Anyone remember that shitty show? <laughs> what I'm doing right now is I'm rewriting that shitty Queen musical. I'm making it better. Its current name is It's a Beautiful Day, and it's taking the potential it had and making it better. By, you know, making it not suck. And I hope one day that Brian May and Roger Taylor realize that the musical they endure so much is fucking garbage. Interesting. Try to get a good angle on your face. I can't see the I can't see the video now. Eric, come on, I need to find. But Galileo keeps having dreams of being Freddie Mercury and he's just so cool and misunderstood so he's taken into what reprogramming while saying some really shitty music jokes also there's Scaramouche but her only personality trait is complaining she complains about the Debbie she complains about music then she sings so body to love out of fucking nowhere and the Gaga girls join in for some goddamn reason but the head officer Khashoggi is a moron and puts them in the same room after they get captured. Then the leader of this shit world goes on some tangent about some people and what the F, I don't remember it because it was so out of left field. Because it's a prophecy and it's prophecies are not usually a part of, you know, sci-fi. Be a fucking sci-fi. Okay, it's out of C shot right now, where? but I'm pointing in the general direction of it. It's where the madness is gonna be. <laughs> Hey there. Are you still? You gotta get out. Are you still envious you of me not being socially awkward? Yes, I'm very envious of you not being socially awkward. I would barely be able to talk. Be able to talk to that guy. There we go. Put on my dashboard. Put your hands on the steering wheel. We're close. We're close. 
There's some alliance I there. really don't care. Put your hand on the steering wheel. I'm gonna park right next to these two motherfuckers who have no idea of our true intentions. Ha ha. Ha ha. Nothing really, really matters. matters. Anyone can see. Nothing Are you doing the interpretive dance really right now? Matters. It's not the dance we used to Bohemian Rhapsody, but it's us. Nothing matters, matters to me. I mean, next year you'll learn the actual dance moves. I don't want to learn the dance moves. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna keep recording until the exact end of the song. Go for it. Oh, but there's another big lift alligator moment when the two edgy rebels that are not Galileo and Scaramouche show and sing I Want It All because we needed another I Want song, yay. But they find Galileo and Scaramouche and take them to their hideout and tell unfunny jokes for way too long and then explain their philosophy. But oh no, Gashogi found them and attacked and that's act one. All right, so... The view we're getting is not quite that bad, but it's still gonna be garbage. Ain't that right, boy? Do you think we got good seats? Yeah. On a scale of one to 10, how ridiculous do you think it's gonna be? 10. Really, I'd take it up to 11. Mm, wow, interesting. Yeah. Either way, we both know it's gonna be stupid. We yeah. get to riff on it whenever we want after this. We have a good laugh over this one to our adults. Yeah, that's what I did. So, see, they're doing spotlight checks. Yeah, I want to do like, um, I want to do, um, set and spotlight yeah, stuff. Yeah, because that's what I did when I went to a nerd camp. I don't like being the center of attention like that. Oh, these are good things. I don't know. I mean, I enjoy having some attention acting good, but, but. Oh. They're doing spotlight checking, which I remember doing when I was like 14 for Big the Musical. I saw Big. Act 2 begins with another big lipped alligator moment. Okay, not in this particular performance. They cut that scene out, so thank God. In the form of the Debbie singing One Vision, then the rebels are shown getting tortured and brainwashed by Khashoggi instead of just murdered because he's a moron. But oh no! Galileo and Scaramouche escaped because they're protagonists! And after this one day, they decide they love each other and fuck! But then they um, wake up and fight because they can't decide who will be the hero. But don't worry, they get back together in like five minutes. So Darren, what'd you think of Act 1? I feel brain dead. There were so many music jokes, so many internet jokes, so many sex jokes. Like an, overwhelming, like an overwhelming, like an overwhelming quality of bad, all of those. What did you think of the plot? The plot has potential to be okay. That's what like, I'm doing with my rewrite. Remember but that. But like, what? like, that's just making it so bad. Like the actors are okay. The songs are okay. Like everything else is just. I mean, it's already known. All right, it's my turn now. Say, <laughs> Julia. Uh, I can't. There you are. Why are you zoomed in? That's so what you think? So, believe it or not, the rewrites they did, because the original version was like 17, 17 years old at this point, it's actually kind of worse. I don't like how the costumes look, they look ridiculous in my opinion, but also they expanded the OMG, we have such edgy rock names thing for about five more minutes, which was very, very pathetic. My name is Britney Spears. Yep, they, yeah. they kept that joke in. I thought they would leave it out, but nope, they kept it in. Because it's the funniest one. Lol. My name is Buddy Holly and the Crickets. Good. Honestly, it's kind of what I expected. I'm glad I was able to get a laugh out of it. I like, I like, um, I like, like, right there, they have the rock band. That's yeah. pretty cool. Other than that, really, honestly, that's what I expected. But worse. Yeah. The act, they really hammed it up, which I appreciate because it makes it all the more hilarious. I feel so like I feel like I have suffered so much. But I have a lot of ideas for my rewrite of this absolute crap. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Killer Queen has had enough of Khashoggi's shit and kills him. 
Then we see this old man singing. Okay, not the old man in this particular version. In this particular version, Pop is also a member of the rebel group for some reason. I don't know. They didn't really um, incorporate it that well because his solo song, These Are the Days of Our Lives, came so out of left field. And apparently, because the prophecy, and states that Queen is the key to making Earth great again. Because Bill Nelton loves sucking the band stick. I won't get into this bullshit, but long story short, Galileo and Scary Moosh rock killer Queen to death. And the world is now full of rock expression. The end. Fucking bullshit. One, so, we yeah. are rolling. How did you think? Uh, well, it was just as fast as I imagined, but the second act was shorter than I thought it was gonna be, which is something I highly appreciate. What time is it? Because by then I felt absolutely nothing. It's 10.03. Oh, so you're... I... Is your... Is your time going in reverse? I guess, yeah. I swear it was at 10.20 earlier. Now let's go, come on! I wanna go to bed! Okay, we're going, we're going. It took us half an hour to well, get yeah, back it was there. pretty bad, and... Turn left. Honestly, the, Turn right. I'll say they left. made a few, then like... Turn right. I'll say they made a few plot changes that made absolutely no sense. Like what? What did they change? Well... Then turn left. Forced of all... Forced of all... They made the old man... Turn left. That was supposed to... That was supposed to be, like... The old archive librarian dude is now young and a member of the rebellion. And now he's bi. Turn right on Lexington Boulevard. Which I assure you he wasn't before. And I mean, I made that change in my rewrite, but it made more sense. Like what? Well, what made more sense about it? Well, he's still old, but he's the leader of the Bohemians, which I've renamed the Stone Cold Crazies. And in the first act, he is the one that gets captured by Kostovi, who is now a senile old man. Turn right on Kostovi. Who? Kostovi, the commander that gets killed by Kostovi. Oh, oh, okay. Um, well, what was the scene that you said they took out, that t that they took out that you said had no sense that had no purpose? Uh, the opening act of season, the opening <laughs> season two, One Vision. It was basically just. Uh, the Gaga kids singing. It had no point, so I'm happy they took that out. Turn right on University Boulevard. Huh. Then turn right on South My thoughts Freeway. turn the camera to me. You can barely see me. Jesus, that's better. And that's a red light. Okay, just can't see me at all. And that's a cop car. Um, One more police car. So, oh, nope, it's a Mark police car. Huh. That's a weird. Um. I thought it was okay, but I am too tired to process anything right now. That's what happens when I get tired. I don't shut down, I just get crazier. Um, I thought some of the songs were sung pretty well. The, um, some, the, um, the, the Who Wants to Live Forever scene, that was pretty good. Yeah, again, that's like the one scene in my rewrite that I'm leading in act. Mostly. And um, um, my favorite part is probably the only LGBTQ joke. The motorcycle joke? Yes, the motorcycle joke. The so motorcycle library annoying. joke. That was pretty funny. Because this wasn't in the original, in this one, our version of Pop basically gets an erection when he's sitting behind Scarabouche and when he's sitting behind Galileo. That's the joke. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny. He said it better. <laughs> but regardless, it was still not a good musical. It's it's mindless entertainment, and it's pretty much the very mindless entertainment they're trying to preach against. To the left, to I yeah. And it's very hypocritical, especially when you look at 80s Queen's 80s discography. <laughs> when you have stuff like My Space and The Works and. The Miracle, which has some good parts in it. They have good songs, but most of them are met out of ten because they try to appeal to the masses. Uh, I Except actually... Except for a kind of magic. A kind of magic... A kind of magic is always good. Um, there's a lot of songs that I like that actually do appeal to the masses. I have an entire playlist that's eight hours long. That's just a bunch of techno music. Okay. I probably worded that incorrectly. I mean, it's just... 
because it appeals to the masses, but I tend to hate the songs that are more popular sounding, per se. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what you mean. You, you kind of like, um, you prefer the more, um, like, um, you prefer the less popular songs because they appeal to the smallest audience. I guess. I mean... Oh, Whole Foods. I mean, my favorite Queen album is Queen 2, which is a very underrated album. I highly recommend you listen to it. It's called Queen 2? Yep. I actually need to add, um, Who Wants to Live Forever to my playlist. Good. I'm glad you realized how good of a song that is. 